Hello there YouTube. Now in this video I'm going to be expanding on some of the points made by Steve Shives in a recent video he made about atheism's need for feminism. I think it's the other way around Kevin, seeing that atheism contains skepticism. And there's hardly any skepticism within the feminist community. Feminism might as well be called a religion, seeing that it shows so many goddamn similarities. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand they it was an absolutely brilliant video which is linked in the description box and I advise everyone to go and watch it. The video encapsulates a great many of my frustrations with YouTube atheism and sums up why I started making videos in the first place. I'm going to skip this part because it contains Steve Shy's video on how feminism and atheism are pretty much one and the same. Now I may or may not make a video again on Steve Shy's considering that I made one on him back about a year. Uh, but I want to focus on Kevin here because for a while he's been on a list of YouTubers that I need to make a video on. Quite frankly, I never really bothered to give him any attention seeing that he never once spoke to me, but I need to say something about Kevin Logan. Quite frankly, he's part of the infamous posse that we all come to know. I know that some people have made videos on Kevin and to be fair, I'm no, not all that different, but hell, Kevin is a big whooping target for me to practice on. So. How about we play a game, Logan? In my youth, I was a devout Catholic, and was even an altar server at my local church for a time. And what drove me from my firm conviction in the truth of the church's teachings to the staunch atheism of my adulthood was, in part, the religion's incredibly regressive social attitudes. Okay, fair enough. And those of other religions. But unfortunately, it's exactly the same kind of shit I see from a great many YouTube atheists. Is that so? Oh, feminism, evil, cause war contained feminine in it. Oh. And this is a bit off topic, but why are you showing off your socks on YouTube? Do you not have a camera? Did it destroy itself when it sees you fapping to Jenny McDermott's ass? The misogyny that festers in this corner of the internet absolutely sickens me to the core. But, of course, there are other bigotries engaged in. There is a terrible undercurrent of both homophobia and transphobia, Racism, such as that expressed by Cult of Dusty when he stated that Jewish people need to ask whether the Holocaust was really their fault. Then there's the crude ableism expressed by the venerated Richard Dawkins when he stated that it was immoral to choose not to abort a Down Syndrome fetus. And of course there's the religious bigotry masquerading as criticism which is often pointed largely at Muslims but often goes for Jews and Christians as well. Get to the point Kevin, I'm not eating backwards here. But even with all of this, the misogyny still has the biggest slice of the bigotry pie. It seems all pervasive at times, and it angers me enormously. At times it makes me feel genuinely ashamed to be an atheist. Well, feminism is the religion now, so you were never really an atheist to begin with. And has led many people that I know to start defining themselves as humanists, or frankly any other term. Well, feminism has a negative connotation for a reason, Kevin. But for you, there is no reason to not be a feminist. Basically to you, being a feminist is like the greatest thing to happen to someone. You jump for joy when you manage to convert someone into feminism. Like I said before, feminism is your religion. Just so they don't associate themselves with the bigoted rabble that passes for an atheist community on YouTube in 2015. Now I don't say these things to undermine atheists or atheism, or indeed to cause a split in the community. Well, there's already a split within the community. There are people like myself who call themselves atheists who don't want to follow dogmatic ideologies. And there there's atheists like yourself who drink the atheism plus Kool-Aid. By trying to fuse feminism and atheism together, you're already trying to split the community in half because there will be people who reject the term of being a feminist. These people are not stupid, Kevin. I do it because I know that atheists can and should be better than this. By trying to turn atheism into something that is clearly not. The fact that all of this hatred has not just been tolerated by the community, but has been celebrated and rewarded has had some really, really negative consequences. Some of the best atheists I know are female, such as Bionic Dance and Girl Does Rant, and they are highly respected within the atheist community. Jacqueline Glenn used to be respected among other atheists as well, but ever since she's been exposed as a plagiarist, a lot of people lost respect for her, especially the likes of the Amazing Atheists. Now, I'm not going to deny there are a few misogynist atheists out there, but I know people you are ta I know the people you're talking about, like Thunderfoot, the amazing atheist, 
Mr. Epsion, and many others within the Indian community. What you consider as harassment is making a video explaining to your favorite feminists on how they are wrong. Again, feminism is your religion. You are not an atheist. To put it extremely diplomatically, YouTube atheism has not done a great job of selling itself to people outside the community. Since when? The atheist community is basically what it is. The only thing that holds the atheist community together is the common belief that there is no God due to the lack of evidence. Granted, the government is moving away from mainstream religion, but is being replaced by these politically correct assholes. Many atheists will complain that the religious bigots of the world try to paint atheists as assholes who wish only to do evil in the world. And whilst their generalising of all atheists is utterly fucking disgusting, I'm absolutely certain that the actions of many YouTube atheists have done nothing but lend weight to that argument in the minds of people from outside the community. Funny you say that, Kevin, considering that Steve Shive is one of the most condescending assholes you could ever meet. He blocks anyone on Twitter if they even remotely challenge his feminism and get all hostile against the MRAs. Either grow up and learn to accept the fact that we live in a society where there is gender inequality and where it disadvantages women and that that is a problem that needs to be addressed or toddle off to the men's rights movement subreddits and bitch and moan with the other guys who are upset at the unfair divorce settlement or because they never get to see their kids or because the girl they like won't go out with them. There's a place for you. It's called the men's rights movement. It's a little bubble of misogyny on the internet that you can go and be with your own. Fuck the men's rights movement. They will love you and support you for everything that you are. A, a deeply oppressed holder of a penis whose life has been ruined by these mean, nasty women. I'm pretty goddamn sure almost any atheist will have a rational discussion. Hell, the amazing atheist is willing to have a debate, and his personality is pretty much of an asshole. You want the atheist community to look also more friendly towards outsiders, but if we were to take Steve Shy's advice, I'm going to have to say that the atheist community would be hated even more and some people may not even call themselves atheists anymore because of people like yourself. Put yourselves for a second in the mind of a person coming onto YouTube for the first time to find out about what atheists are really like. This person is from a religious background, but their faith has crumbled of late. So this person is a potential atheist and a potential ally. Well, the answer is simple. Tell them about being an atheist and a skeptic among the community. Don't make atheism into some sort of activist movement. But they have been told all of their life that atheists are all mean-spirited, hateful pricks. That is a stereotype made by religious wingnuts. So, they come onto YouTube for the first time, and what do they find? Depends on what you type in. They see rampant anti-woman bigotry. Citation needed! Oh wait! Your proof is Thunderfoot videos on feminism. And seeing that according to you... Criticism of feminism is basically bashing women, therefore Thunderfoot is an anti-feminist Christ. They see people like Cult of Dusty, who said that all Muslims are retards and that all black Christians are Uncle Tums. Cult of Dusty is barely active. I think you have a better result if you typed in feminism where you will see a shit ton of Thunderfoot's videos. They see Thunderfoot's millionth fucking video, basically calling Anita Sarkeesian a bitch. Well, he's not wrong there as well as disregarding and strawmanning the harassment of women. Despite the fact that he has made videos backing up his claims and destroying all the sources Anita has. Which is basically none. And of course, they'll see the amazing atheist attacking a recently dead teenager who was bullied to her suicide at the age of just 15. Are you talking about Amanda Todd or Alicia Alcorn? Now what in the name of fuck do you think our perspective atheist would make of all of that? Well, if they were to see Steve Shy's videos, I'm pretty sure that some of them might raise an objection or two. Not to mention, if I were to show them your video on Thunderfoot, on how you were all like, Oh, poor Thunderfoot, losing his papa, let me give you a hug, cry me a fucking river. They will see you as an asshole. I know the atheist community better than you do, Logan, because I've been here a lot longer than you have. I've been a YouTuber for nearly 8 years, but only started ranting back in somewhere around 2011. Again, it all depends on what this person types in first. 
he or she might see the atheist experience or fun of what the already amazing atheist. Seriously. All of this shit plays right into the hands of people who wish to demonise atheists. But sadly, online atheism has done a better job of making atheists look bad than Pat Robertson could even fucking dream of doing. So let me get this straight. The atheist community has made themselves assholes by going after the likes of Anita Sarkeesian and criticizing feminism. So what your solution is to fuse it with feminism to even be more closed-minded than ever before. Because, after all, you feminists enjoy having a rational discussion. Just look at Anita disabling her comments. That small clip perfectly sums up why I do YouTube videos. If the misogynist assholes weren't such a big voice in the YouTube atheism scene, you would not be hearing my voice right now. Really? I assume that you wanted to get into Jenny McDermott's pants. That's why you are white knighting the living shit out of any feminist. Needless to say at this point, I thoroughly concur with Steve's analysis of the situation. No shit you do. We really must put a stop to this bigoted bullshit. By being even bigger bigots. And that is what this YouTube channel is all about. This is what I intend to do. By doxing the likes of Thunderfoot into silence. If this is what happens when the atheist community merges with the feminist community, then a lot of people are going to leave atheism. You're going to end up destroying the atheist community, and that is why I'm here. To protect it from the likes of yourself. So please join us in the fight to rid the body atheism of this cancerous tumour of bigotry. Well, Kevin, if you want a war, you got one. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out.